Children's psychological development can be understood only in the context of social world in which they grew up. During middle childhood, school and peer become increasingly as important as the family in the child's social world. The important aspects that categorize that middle childhood years, six aspects are critical at this stage. Social emotional competence, social experiences, connectedness with parents, peers, school and community, physical health and well-being, developing competency, border social sphere, social and emotional health refers to how child feel about him or herself, level of self-esteem, satisfaction with life and overall outlook. These are often key indicators of a child's overall health and well-being. The term socially responsible behavior highlighted that importance of internalization of the values and attitudes of society as one's own so that socially acceptable behavior is motivated not by fear of external consequences but by intrinsic or internal factors. Strong social and emotional health is linked to overall child well-being and provides a foundation for adolescence. Out of school as well as school programs and activities can play an important role in maintaining and promoting social and emotional health. School experience is in fact the main focus of this age group. It make or breaks a child's future. Middle child would represent a unique and critical developmental period in which important competencies are developed. Developing competency becomes particularly important during middle childhood when children are more heavily engaged in activity that require mastery over something, academics, sports, music, etc. A sense of personal accomplishment, optimism and hope helps to guide young people towards making good choice and towards building a confidence as they grow into adults. In the face of increasing globalization and knowledge economy, competency building is very important. An environment that offer adequate challenges to the growing child along with the necessary support system in school is very important. Connectedness refer to a child's feelings of being loved and feeling related to other around. Parent connectedness. Children of this age group being spending more unsupervised time with friends and peers, especially after school. Parental knowledge and involvement in their child's friendships and activity is very important. Parents need to know where their children are, how and who they spend their time spent with. Research find that adequate parent monitoring fosters autonomy while simultaneously protecting early adolescents. Children who experience higher level of parental monitoring tend to have higher level of reported well-being. Pre-connectedness We know that children associated more with peer as they age. We also know as children get older, they see friendship differently. Quality of friendship, having a friend who cares, talk to them and help with problems become more important than quantity. Community connectedness, the more the number of adults that a child can identify in the community as knowing or caring about them, the better is the child's well-being physical health and well-being cannot be overlooked at any age and so with this age group too. A healthy mind only in a healthy body. In terms of the social aspect of physical health and fitness, two aspects stands out this age body image and physical strength. Body image. Body image contributes to border issues of self-esteem and self-concept as well as eating disorders. 
children tend to be most affected by negative body image. Negative body image leads to a diminished sense of self-worth. Parents, educators and other adults need to help children to develop meaningful ways to feel good about themselves. Children need to support to resist their pressures to strive for the ideal body image and appreciate their bodies as is. Physical strength get equated to leadership and power. It also relates to a sense of competence. Children must be helped to understand the differences between good health and being strong and appreciate that there can be other areas of strength than physical powers. At this stage, children must outgrow the Superman syndrome, developing competencies. Eric Erickson categorized this phase in life as a time of industry, a time when a child acquires a new intellectual and social competencies and skills across. In middle childhood, adults play a pivotal role in helping children develop a sense of industry. If in school and at home, adults provide tasks for children that are interesting and worthwhile and they believe that they can accomplish, their children develop a sense of competency. If they are not provided with such opportunities in supportive environments, they develop a sense of inferiority and incompetencies. Border Social Sphere Erickson argued that it is during this time that the radius of significant relations move behind that of the basic family to the neighborhood and school. There is a much border social sphere at work now. Parents and family are joined by teachers and peers and other members of the community at large in influencing a child's development during this time period. Most children who experience such a productive and rewarding middle childhood period develop and grow into healthy adults. After school activity, during middle childhood, out of home environments, have an increasing influence on children's development. After school, how do children spend time? Children spend time in homework or schoolwork. Physical activities, academic activities, music or dramas, being with friends, spending time with families, spending time on the computer, hobbies, unstructured relaxation activities all are important and need to be balanced with an increasing in both parents working and the advent of the nuclear family a significant number of children are alone at home this is of concern because although children are being to become more independent contact with adult and particularly attachment to a parent remain a critical factor. Children spending time alone also suggest a degree of social isolation and the lack of involvement in developmentally appropriate activities. At home or in other care arrangements, spending time on sedentary activities tend to dislocate them socially. This need to be avoided. Children who are engaged in excessive technology used during the after-school hours mainly in the form of online computer, game and TV viewing have more negative social and emotional adjustment and well-being than children who did not engage in such excessive technology use. Studies have repeatedly shown that most children at this age 6 to 10 want to be engaged in activity that build their competency, their physical health and their connectedness and do not really want to spend time watching TV and on the computer as this decreases social and interpersonal understanding. However, may end up doing so for what of better alternatives parents and school need to ensure that this does not happen. Children who are engaged in at least one structured activity during the after school hour 
between 3 pm to 6 pm such as team sports academic lessons and drama score higher across almost all dimensions of physiological and social well-being in construct of those students who do not or unable to do so children have a natural determination to excel at something and to be social engaged given them choice it is clear that they were to do more everything peer and friends the nature of children's peer interactions and friendships changes as they develop and grow in middle childhood 30 percent of child's social interaction involve peers compared to 10 percent in early childhood children's behavior in the peers group has proven to be a stable indicators of their social competence social agers not only construct understandings of others but most also interact competently with their peers and sustain friendship over time in addition children's concerns about peer acceptance often rise during middle childhood let us now discuss the importance of peer relationships and how kids relate to others of the importance of friendship friends are vital to school age children health development friendship provides children with more than just fun playmates it helps children develop emotionally and morally children who lack friends can suffer from emotional and mental difficulties later in life while interacting with friends children learn a lot of social skills such as how to communicate cooperate and solve problems they practice controlling their emotions and responding to the emotions of others they develop the ability to think through and negotiate different situation that arises in their relationships having friends even affects children social performance children tend to have better attitudes about school and learning when they have friends there friends fulfill social needs such as companionship acceptance and intimacy in short children benefit greatly by having friends middle childhood brings about marked changes in the understanding of friendship in early childhood friendship is usually associated with sharing of current activity whereas in middle childhood children being to be recognized that friendship can last over time social age children usually indicate an increasing appreciation of each other's feelings and interactions brought about by improvement in their ability to develop a social perspective peer influences a child adult life is much influenced by the power of peers with peers children learn such skills as socializing compromising dealing with conflicts and putting feelings into words earning a place in the group has a real bearing on your child self image the child who succeeds in the world of peer during middle childhood will enter the adolescence year with a more solid sense of self confidence and self respect enabling the child to handle relationships better it is not the quality of friends that is important but the quality of the relationships developing with friends playmates force children to face realities of their world they teach what is acceptable and what's not and how to live by the rules that are a fact of life functions of peer interaction peer groups provide a certain status dependent of one's family and provide a positive influence on a child's self esteem they also can be a stabilizing influence in a child's life it is a good feeling to be important to someone outside the family unit because the most eventually stand on their own
contact with peers exposes children to value different from their parents. It is important for children to realize that many different standards exist in the world. However, strong family values give a child good basis for deciding whether to incorporate new and different value into her life. Peer groups provide an opportunity to practice by doing to try out different rules. Participation in extracurricular activities and discussions about life and other topics are important rehearsals for adults. Feedback from peers is immediate and can be used to modify and refine one's emerging concept of who I am and what rules I can play. Dealing with rejection. The social concerns of school age children often focus on acceptance and avoidance of rejection by peers. Children who are unable to form close or satisfy relationship with peers and of concern. Children who lack of ongoing peer involvement also may miss opportunities to build a sense of social self-confidence. Being rejected or repeatedly ignored is painful for a child. Most children at some point in their lives experience some shots of rejection being excluded from a party or suddenly being ignored by friends. For some children, however, peer relations are persistently problematic. Some children are actively rejected by peers. Others are simply ignored or neglected. Some popular children have many friends but nevertheless feel alone and unhappy. These children may develop little faith in their own abilities to achieve interpersonal goals and thus are easily overwhelmed by normal ups and downs of social interaction. Implications for the children for their social and professional adjustments are obvious. Children without satisfying friendships may suffer from painful feelings of isolation. Social may be an unpleasant place from the children. They may ultimately become taunt or drop out altogether or in their search for a sense of group belonging. Their children may become vulnerable to the influence of delinquent or drug abusing peers. What factors contribute to peer relationship problems? Aggressive or descriptive behavior and withdrawal both are equally rejected by peers. Children who are anxious or fearful about peer relations are unlikely to behave in an effective manner. Academic problems also can contribute to infective social behavior. Children who cannot engage themselves with classroom work assignment often disrupt and irritate their peers. Differentness similarly foster social acceptance. Conversely, perceived difference leads lead peer rejection. This may occur when children are of different ethnic group or sex or physical unattractive or extremely good looking or are handicapped or gifted children or are newcomers to their classrooms. Family problems. Family problems can have a damaging effect on children's peer relations. For example, quarreling parents may make a child act out feelings of disappear at school, electing rejection from peers. Children with family problems such as parental alcoholism may be reluctant to bring friends home, avoiding close friendship as a result. Reputation a reputation as a social outcast is extremely difficult to change. Hence, once a child faces rejection, it tends to a snowball. Rejection need to be handled in positive ways. How can children overcome peer relationship problems? Peer relationship are important contributors to the quality of both children's current lives and their future. Children who have difficulty in relating to a peer need to help. Such intervention is most effective when it's, it is tolerated to fit 
द स्पेसिफिक नेचर ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन पियर प्रॉब्लम चिल्ड्रन रिक्वायर हेल्प फ्रॉम अडल्ट इफ दे आर टू ओवरकम सीरियस पियर रिलेशनशिप प्रॉब्लम सोशल स्किल्स ट्रेनिंग चिल्ड्रन हु बिहेवियर लीज टू सोशल रिजेक्शन ऑफन नीड टू लर्न न्यू इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स इन सच केसेस स्पेसिफिक इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन वेज टू मेक पियर इंटरेक्शन म्यूचुअली सेटिस्फाइंग एंड प्रोडक्टिव कैन बी एफेक्टिव इन इम्प्रूविंग द चिल्ड्रन पियर रिलेशन कोऑपरेटिव क्लासरूम प्रोजेक्ट कोऑपरेटिव ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट कैन फास्टर पियर एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन who are trying to improve their social reputation including children who are sense as different by their classmates under this scheme teacher assessing interesting task to small work groups the group member must work cooperatively to achieve the tasks in doing so they must interact with peer they would typically avoid and often discover new basis of liking them parental intervention as children enter the preteen and teen year and beginning to develop their own unique identities they start to listen more to the opinions of their friends and classmates than their parents the influence of peer can be both positive and negative and teen will be more likely to take the advice of their friends over than of their parents however the child actually need parents very much by keeping the lines of communication with the child open and knowing what to look out for the stage for a successful life journey it is set parents should work on some or all of the following know the children friends this will make it much easier to monitor and influence your child growing network for friends when he or she is older ask the child about his day or what is going on in his life by developing a positive relationship with the child the message that he is a worthwhile person someone others like to be around gets communicated let the child know that friendships are important and worth the effort research shown that children who are socially well adjusted hand parents who were more involved in their children's social activities respect the child unique social style and not force their on the child some children need to many friends other want to only few close friends some children find a make friends quickly others take time to warm up to a new friendships encourage other children coming home visit others and make the children friends family as family friends deliberately make time for being with other children by having get together and combining outings sympathize if the child is upset by teasing but let him or her know that all children are teased at one time or another find out what causing the teasing and see if there's a way to correct the situation peer pressure can be positive or negative it is important for a child to socialize and have strong friendships however when the child is peer pressure to do something wrong or negative such as ganging up on another friends or cheating or trying drug or alcohol the child should be appropriately consolidated and wended away from such friends keep the lines of communication open let the child know that he or she can always talk to you about anything talk with and listen carefully be proactive and initiate conversation as he or she may not open up without some prompting be a good role model as a parent you are the most powerful example in your child's life he sees how you interact with your friends and acquaintances 
So try to model positive relationships. Conclusions Students in this session will have seen how the social world of the child is getting developed. Let us look at the summary of various points discussed. During a middle childhood, school and peer become increasingly as important as the family. The important aspects that categorize the middle childhood years are social emotional competence, school experience, connectedness with parents, peers, school and community, physical health and well-being. Strong social and emotional health is linked to child well-being and provides a foundation to fight the increasing competence of the child. Adequate parental monitoring fact sorry, adequate parental monitoring fosters autonomy while stimulationally being proactive. Quality of friendship is more important than quantity. The more the number of adults a child identifies as caring, the better is the child's well-being. Body image is important. Negative body image leads to dimension sense of self-worth. Physical strength relates to a sense of competence. Eric Erickson, 1, 1959, categorized this phases in the life as a time of industry versus inferiority. Significant relations now move behind the family to the neighborhood and school. Now, out of home environment have an increasing influence on children's development. Children have a natural determination to excel at something and to be socially engaged. Time spent on sedentary activities dislocate a child socially and need to be avoided. Children engaged in at least one structured activity show a better social well-being. In middle childhood, 30% of a child's social interaction involve peers. Friendship in school's age is vital and provides children with more than just fun playmates. A children's adult life is much influenced by the power of peers. Children of this age group often focus on acceptance and avoidance of rejection by peers, which will be painful for them. Aggressive behavior, perceived differences and family problems contribute to peer rejection. Rejection needs to be handled in positive way through social skills training, cooperative classroom projects and parental interventions. Social word is very important and plays as a critical role in shaping up the child's personality. Hence, as teacher we should know the understanding principles of this growth and be sensitive to children's needs.